Lachlan Cahoon again. Here I am at the Telecom Asia Reader's Choice Awards in Singapore. I'm joined by um, David and Francis from, uh, from ZTE. Now ZTE has been a winner in a couple of categories tonight and we're just having a chat about uh, the NFV solution to start with. Um, uh, David, one of the demands uh, on NFV is the ability for operators to rapidly launch and scale up new applications. Uh, how does your winning solution do this? Actually, uh, ZTE's uh, 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 winning solution called CloudWorks. Uh, it's a, a cloud native architecture. It's built on the uh, macro service component library. So actually uh, a third party or the operators and the vendors like ZTE, we can easily uh, assemble different applications and can easily uh, scale up the, 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 make it very agile. And also because we separate uh, the hardware and software, we and all the functions on the software. So the hardware part can be easily scaled up to meet the changing demand for the operators. Another of the great advantages of NFV uh, is the agility it delivers, David. Uh, how is your solution delivered agility to your customers? So ZT CloudWorks uh, solution is actually uh, based on the uh, principle called DevOps. Uh, development operation and the uh, development is what we need is very uh, agile to meet a fast change requirement and also the operation we need to verify quality, quality control and also verify the, the features very fast and also make the uh, interworking uh, very smooth so and because we uh, adapt this uh, architecture uh, this principle so the the availability and the scalability is uh, well take, uh, take care of. Now virtualization has been a trend in the market since, uh, well, over the last two or three years, you'd say. Uh, how do you see virtualization as a trend moving forward with a particular focus on 2017? Actually, we have seen our customers start to do the uh, virtualization, like uh, SDN in the transmission, NFV uh, on the on start from the core network since 2015. So we have seen the virtualization on the uh, virtualized EPC, virtualized AMS, and the virtualized uh, RCS, and virtualized uh, uh, other core network functions. And we have seen a large scale deployment in 2016 with an uh, operator like Vapocom, and they have deployed in, in uh, five or six countries. And next year, in 2017, we have, we'll see uh, even further uh, large-scale deployment in the in the cloudification because cloudification or NFV really bring a lot of benefits to the operators and ZTE's uh, cloud uh, uh, works solution actually win uh, many awards uh, since last year and this year we just win award for uh, uh, 2015 2016 uh, 5G summit in London and together with the Telecom Asia award. Now, Francis, if I can turn to you, um, and to, we've been talking before about the uh, the video platform that uh, ZTE has won an award for. Um, what are the features of this solution that you'd like to highlight? Okay, so basically, uh, for this particular uh, we call big video platform, the key thing is about it's a fully integrated uh, video platform supporting both traditional IPTV type of application scenarios as well as the latest uh, OTT type of uh, application scenarios. And uh, in addition to that, the, f the platform also coming with uh, some uh, key functions like it has an open uh, uh, platform functionalities to support content providers to put into uh, self-management functionalities. So really the content providers can have an open system to uh, get the uh, subscribers on as well as to manage the subscriber. And also for the system itself, it's also coming with uh, uh, many features and functions uh, running on top of uh, uh, big data analysis. So actually the system not only supporting the f f uh, basic functions uh, about video and uh, so on and so forth, but also can provide a uh, uh, data, uh, big data based analysis about the user behavior as well as uh, uh, many other things. So actually the platform can support the, off, uh, the service provider, the content provider and the market analysis uh, to really uh, do many other things, add-on things like uh, directed uh, marketing based on user behavior and so on. 
So this probably is uh, the most uh, key uh, new developments on top of the traditional what we call uh, video platforms for this particular solution. Yeah. So how do you see the development of video through your platform uh, and its successes in coming years? Okay, I think this uh, probably is the first stage of phase one. We are actually moving into that 5G or uh, let's say uh, fully integrated broadband crossing fixed network, mobile network and so on all the scenarios. And uh, this, as I mentioned, the features like a uh, video plus uh, uh, open uh, platform functionalities plus management uh, functionalities plus big data analysis functionalities is really uh, built up such a capability for these uh, video services to move into 5G cross uh, fix and the mobile. Uh, and uh, we believe uh, this is the first uh, version first commercialized version, and uh, we are actually having uh, con uh, quite solid uh, development plans to enhance further the platform to move into that direction. What we see is in the 5G uh, stage, we will, uh, video will be a, a sort of an integrated uh, part of people's daily life, not only when you're at home to look into a TV, not only when you're uh, looking into your mobile phones, but uh, you will have many other things like VR, uh, AR, this kind of new things, actually they are all uh, require integrated functions based on video and the high speed video, high, dens high definition quality video. So for that actually uh, many, many uh, enhancements on top of the current uh, video platform, current uh, video technologies is necessary and uh, we are actually uh, having this uh, technology uh, roadmap to move towards that direction. I'm aware that in November ZTE launched Titan, which is your new optical platform. Can you tell us a little bit about, uh, about that, uh, that platform and, and some of the features and how it might, uh, might integrate with some of the other technologies we've been talking about? Okay, uh, Titan is, uh, as you mentioned, is an uh, uh, optical, uh, uh, let's put it this way, actual uh, broadband uh, uh, optical network uh, or technologies. And uh, this is actually be will be become an uh, integrated part for the overall, uh, particularly when you say 5G network. So we already mentioned 5G not only have mobile wireless, but also you need to have, uh, for example, for backbone and so on and so forth to support the wireless network, you need to have optical network, as well as you need to have optical network to go to like uh, offices, uh, homes, and so on and so forth. So the optical will be uh, very much the, uh, broadband uh, backbone uh, technology. And uh, when we actually uh, launched this Titan, actually is uh, as part of the integrated solution or network uh, architecture uh, to move into uh, 5G fully uh, integrated, fixed and uh, wireless. And uh, this actually is uh, giving the platform or, 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 the, or, the, or, the, or, the, or the pipeline to support the uh, uh, video services as well as many other services. And uh, the key thing here is when we actually uh, doing this development of these new technologies, we actually take into consideration of various application scenarios crossing uh, the network, the services, uh, and the application uh, use cases. We actually put into those considerations together at the very beginning. So many features is actually developed with uh, uh, concrete plan to develop uh, the overall uh, network as well as system capabilities to support many uh, f uh, f application scenarios we are targeting for 5G. Uh, we already mentioned, for example, we are AI and so on and so forth. Many things, many exciting things now people have been talking a lot about and uh, our uh, technologies, both uh, big video platforms, both Titan platforms to have integrated uh, uh, optical uh, uh, barrier uh, capabilities to support the video services. Actually, we have the integrated uh, R&D planning as well as uh, the, the product development to make sure we are actually on that track to move into that uh, stage. And uh, we really uh, looking forward to have more and more new services to be uh, integrated into this uh, ecosystem uh, to be running on top of this platform. And we believe this will be 
uh, one of the key things to give the end user a fantastic uh, experience we may not be able to imagine today even.